This is Amy. Amy is a math professor at SPC, and this is her first year teaching her class online. But she has some concerns. Are my online students going to be engaged with the content? What Amy doesn't know is there are three types of online interactions that promote student engagement. Learner to content, learner to learner, and learner to instructor. Can I still use what I've created for my face-to-face -face classes? What about my teaching style? How will this change what I've done in front of my students? Sounds like Amy needs some help. This is Jen. She's a course designer for SPC. She has some ideas to help Amy get her online course looking good while fostering student engagement. Hi, Amy. Engaging students online is the key to a good online course. I have a couple ideas that might help. Let's take a look at the three types of online interaction and that may give you a better understanding. Let's start with learner to content interaction. Wait, will I need to come up with all new content or can I use what I already have? The content you have just needs to be delivered in a different manner. It needs to be interactive, eye-catching, and designed to keep the students engaged. For example, Try adding a video demonstration of a piece of content to your course, created by you or an expert in your field. These can easily be found on YouTube and imported into your course. Just adding a video, how does that engage a student? Videos can be watched over and over until content is mastered. Plus, you can add additional activities, like discussion questions, to get students interested more in the content. Can you give me a few more other examples of learner to content? How about a quiz, simulation activity, audio PowerPoint, or an interactive game? Many websites provide these activity templates that you can use for free. So I just need to use different tools to deliver my content. Okay, I can do that. But what about student conversations? Online, there is no face-to-face. -face. How can I be sure students are talking to each other? Now you're talking about learner-to-learner -learner interaction. Using online course tools like chat and discussion boards gives students a chance to interact with each other in your course. You can even set up groups of students to discuss multiple topics. Do I get involved in the learner-to-learner -learner interaction? Yes and no. You monitor the interactions, but really you want to let the students interact with each other. The key here is to really learn how to use the tools in my courses for students to have the most benefit. Okay, so chats, discussions, but what about teaching? When do I get to share what I know and what's the best way to do it? I'm so glad you brought that up. That's learner to instruction engagement. Think of your role more as a facilitator. Try posting a daily course announcement or a news item. That provides student direction and gives you the opportunity to express expectations for the content. Okay, what other ways can I connect with my students? You can set up an introduction discussion topic. Tell students all about you so that they know you're a real person. Let students tell you about themselves. Consider having review chats with your students or communicating via email. There are many ways you can communicate with your students in my courses. Wow, this is so helpful. I think I'll take some time to learn the tools in my courses and how to adapt it to my content. Thanks so much for all your help. No problem. Glad I could help. Amy seems relieved. She now has a better grasp on how to deliver her class online. It's not about recreating her content, but changing the tools she uses to deliver it. Using the three types of interactions, learner to content, learner to learner, and learner to instructor is a great place to begin. Thanks for watching.